If we completely stopped emitting carbon dioxide tomorrow, you'd probably think, wow, we're in pretty good shape. But the truth is, we'd still have a big problem. Most of the carbon dioxide we've released since the Industrial Revolution is still blanketing our planet today. It takes hundreds of years to go away. That layer of CO2 is wrapped around us, trapping in the heat. And the strategies that we often talk about to reduce new carbon emissions, like transitioning to alternative energies or phasing out fossil fuels, won't alone solve our pollution debt. Think of our atmosphere as a bathtub. We filled it up way too high and the water is still on. Turning that water off is key, but we still have to drain a lot of that water. So I'm in Alabama because one company is developing a revolutionary system to turn down the faucet while also helping to drain the tub. The best part? It reduces the emissions from the most widely used man-made product on Earth. Concrete is responsible for 8 to 10% of global carbon emissions. Why is that the case? The key ingredient is cement. And cement is formed from limestone, which is made of plants and animals from long before our time. And all of those living organisms contain carbon, and therefore limestone contains it as well. The limestone is heated to incredibly high temperature and then ground into a powder. When you heat the limestone, you actually release carbon dioxide as part of that process. Worldwide, we make over 30 billion metric tons of concrete annually. That's the weight of over 5,000 Great Pyramids of Giza. Concrete is the building block of modern society as we know it today. It's also adding 4 billion tons of carbon to our air, or the weight of 4 billion polar bears, if that's easier to picture. We're here at Blair Block, and it's a block plant where they manufacture concrete products. It's a pretty exciting process that we're embarking on here. Instead of using that carbon intensive cement, we're reducing that and we're instead using waste materials. The other big piece is how we use the carbon dioxide as part of our curing process. It's exposed to the concrete that we've made with this new mix design. Through that process, it's almost like a two-part epoxy. So what we're gonna do is take the carbon on one hand and we're gonna take the waste materials on the other and by putting them together, we actually are able to not only create strength in the block, we're also able to store that carbon permanently as part of that structure. So this is where the product manufacturing takes place. We've got a press that forms the product, which then goes into this racking. Okay. That is an automated machine that brings the product down the rail and then places it into these curing chambers. It's where we've got piping that distributes the CO2. Would this cost more than the traditional method of making concrete? By pulling out and reducing the amount of cement that goes in and replacing it with these waste materials, they're actually able to save a bit of money by shifting to our process. Why aren't more companies doing this? It's an industry that's really rooted in tradition and they've been making these products the same way for a lot of years. And as we're able to not only show improved profitability, but also this carbon impact, I think we're really going to see a change in acceleration of industry adoption. What part of the bathtub is carbon built addressing? So I would say the whole tub, turning down the faucet. And I think that's a great analogy to removing and reducing the cement from our materials. We're also draining the bathtub, and that's where it comes around the use of the CO2 and storing it in a product. The innovation landscape is rapidly changing. So so I'm going to talk with the company's CEO, Rahul Shendere, about what the future holds. What makes Carbon Build's approach to creating concrete unique? You know, there's so many great ideas out there that address climate change, but some of these efforts are only going to pay off many years from now because they require a lot of R&D or a fundamental restructuring in the way we produce the things humanity needs. We're focused on making an impact today. We can manufacture ultra low carbon concrete right now in thousands of plants that already exist around the country and around the world. Across the country, other companies are looking for innovative ways to reduce emissions by pulling existing carbon from the air and utilizing our carbon overflow to reduce the emissions of some of our most crucial products. And at the end of the day, we're going to need solutions in every sector of our lives that leave us with a more balanced bathtub and a more stable planet for future generations. Thank you.